So here's another little video on the pressure switch here on your furnace. If we look down here, I have disconnected the inducer and disconnected the igniter. Notice the, the diagnostic lights, little, all your little lights down here will uh, not flashing. Everything's good to go. So when I say that this pressure switch is designed to detect airflow through the heat, the heat exchanger, the vent system, watch what happens here. I'm going to give it a little call for heat. Okay. The inducer is not running. Big shocker, right? Because it's disconnected. But watch what the little diagnostic light's going to do at a certain point. Because it's calling for heat, it's closed the relay for the inducer. It's just waiting for that safety, that electrical signal from the pressure switch to say that it is closed and safe to run. But it's just thinking, it's processing, it's waiting, it's not receiving it. At some point that board's going to time out and go, pressure switch stuck open. Which may take about 30 seconds to a minute, depending on manufacturers. It's thinking. It's thinking. There it goes. If you heard that click, the relay over here for the inducer de-energized, it's given the code, pressure switch stuck open. Now, it is correct that pressure switch is stuck open because the inducer here never ran to pull the vacuum to close that switch to tell the board that it's okay to run. So, that's just one proof where I remember when I was working for a company out in Colorado Springs, the utilities told the lady it had a bad pressure switch because that light said pressure switch stuck open. No, it was a bad circuit board that didn't send power for the inducer to run to close it. So you have to be careful on your diagnostics and test and verify everything when it comes to that. Hope you like, like the video. Remember to subscribe to my channel so a brother can get paid. Take it easy.